Let's start a new game. caught in a stasis field. We have to rescue them from this... from this... laboratory? What are we doing here? No idea where we are, and that's not much... there's not much we can do from this side of the rubble, boss. Who are they, anyway? I, uh... don't remember. Our priority should be escaping this place. We'll take care of the rescue effort once we're safe. Longface has a point, boss. No, we have to rescue them. We have to get in that room somehow. Suit yourself. Not like we have any other choice than to follow you. Oh, and any? Is it any? 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 Yeah, any. Stop calling me Longface. Nope. Let's go. So, I'm playing with a controller. Um, can you play with mouse and keyboard? I don't know. I posted the link for the demo in chat. I highly recommend picking it up because it's a lot of fun. Anyway, press A and hold to jump higher. So we got little jump, medium jump, I guess, and long jump. Wait a minute. Is this... And in some cases, you can use the right analog, if you have one, to look up or down, which is really handy. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. So, that means we have to hold right trigger to slide. And you can do it in midair, but you can't really go up. You can only go either straight down or diagonally down. What's this? The Bruisers. Launch a melee attack that can be performed rapidly and in various directions. A new chip has been added to the game menu. To activate the full power of a chip, you need to equip it. Press... well, that button. While at any safe. So that's not me doing it, that's the game showing you. Ooh, that was neat. Forget neat. That was awesome! Seems like we turned into fists. Quite handy. Who cares about technicalities? I want to punch something! Boss, let's punch something! Anything! Ready, please? I'm not going to punch things just to make you happy. Uh, chances are we'll have to punch our way out of here. So why not? I'm starting to see the personality of, of any is just kind of like crazy. So and that's our attacks. Okay. Now we got blue things. Punch, punch. Wait, where am I supposed to go? I can't go there. Oh, yeah, this opened up. Now I go this way. I guess we'll go this way. Dun, 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 dun. What is that? Can we use it? Yes! It opens a blast door to the rooms they're in! I'm sure of it! And what makes you so sure? Have you any idea how to interface with this? Call it a gut feeling or whatever. We'll figure something out. Isn't that right, boss? Boss? Harlow? Uh, guys, I feel weird. Like long fingers poking around inside my head, and... Oh, 
Oh, the animation's so nice. So this is a flashback. Cleo. Hurry up, Harlow. Hmm. That was close. Nice dodge, Cleo. Or Clio, Cleo, Clio, Cleo. We with Cleo. Thanks, but this is no place to talk. You remember the plan? Yes, but. They're intelligent. Surely we can come to an agreement and work something out. Ilios is a big planet. They're invaders. They don't even consider us people. In their eyes, we're scary little blue nightmares to get rid of. They refused any attempt we made to speak this out. They don't want any solution other than their own. And their solution is extermination. Dot, dot, dot. There's got to be another way. Come on, Harlow. Don't make me do this alone. I need your help. Please. So this must have been what happened leading up to it? Cleo. Their name was Cleo. Whoa, what was that? Some kind of memory fragment? So, Cleo, eh? We have a name now, and your memory's coming back. Good news all around. It still doesn't answer what this place is or what's going on. From your recollection, this appears to be a spaceship. A spaceship in quite the sorry state, I might add. Must have come down from the sky and landed, and, and you and Cleo broke in to fight them, and somehow you got frozen and then unfrozen, and, and uh, that's all I got. Where'd they go? Did we win? If you don't know, boss, then I'm 100% sure Cleo knows. We've got to rescue them. Uh-oh. Uh. Oh, 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 yes! Time to do the thing, boss! I did say we'd have to punch our way out of here. Punch, 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 punch. Alright. Steal vital energy by hitting enemies. Once a vital container is full, hold right bumper to heal yourself. So, in the top left hand corner we've got our health bar and it's we took a little bit of damage and below beside the right bumper symbol we have two repositories of vital energy hold it and you'll use one but you'll fill up part of your health bar wait a minute can i get in there no sorry it looked like there was a gap there <laughs> That's cool. Uh, this is where we came from, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So we need to go here. Whoa. Oh, right.
I feel like smashing my head in the nearest wall. Did we just turn into a Toroth? You did that, Harlow, but how? Did you copy its genetic code to morph into a Toroth? Have I done this before? Not from what I know, but that's a real useful skill to have, and the way out is blocked. So you may want to turn back into a Toroth. Their rock-hard crest could prove useful. It's so weird going two eyes to four, then back to two again. Ability acquired. Biomorph dead creatures using left bumper and take their shape. You can now use their unique skills. Press left bumper again to exit the biomorph. Beware. By biomorphing, it, uh, by biomorphing enemies, they can learn new behaviors, gain new attacks, and grow stronger. When you biomorph a monster, it is added to the game menu. Biomorphing different monsters of the same type a number of times will give you its power permanently. Track your progress by pressing that button. <laughs> Which I call select on my controller. Uh, so, we can't get through this no matter how hard we punch. So we have to use our biomorph ability. And you see in the bottom right hand, it says one of five. So... What the... What are these? Oh! Okay, cool. Did I come from this direction? Oh, so to hop out, left bumper again. What's this? Resource obtained. Raw materials. A mix of the finest materials on Ilios or Ilios. Can be used to upgrade mementos. I didn't come here the first time around. Uh oh. That sounds like a boss fight. Oh, it's not just a boss fight. No, no it's, it's sorry, it's not a boss fight, I should say. a low level. Oh, except for this guy. There we go. What do we got here? What's this? Laurentium. A beautiful and rare mineral that shines brightly. more here? Oh, we got something special looking. Uh, that does not look friendly. Is there another way around? things walk on that? I don't even know. No, they can't. Hmm. Ow. <laughs> I don't even know if I can reach that. Ah, no, I can't. Crap. How exactly am I supposed to get that? I don't think I can. You do have the option of coming back to this place later on, so maybe it's... No. Maybe I'll just have to do that.
<laughs> this thing's got a punch. Memento obtained. Toroth Shoe Magnet. Automatically retrieves nearby plaques. Those are those little black rectangular things. It's currency in this game. A new memento has been added to the game menu. To gain the full power of a memento, you need to equip it. make that jump with this thing. Let's wait. It's now three of five. Oh no, we're locked in. We're gonna die. If a door can't be opened, it's not a door anymore, is it? Ergo, there must be a door switch. What if there isn't? If it comes down to survival, I'm eating you first, Longface. To change your loadout, ship Memento Biomorph Arsenal, press the select button. So, we do have a Memento. And we can equip it. And that's it. Um, crafted by the artisans of the Flying Gardens, plaques are small tablets of metal with a pearl in their center. The pearls come from Ferox oysters, the only animal known to live exclusively in Ferox. This is common currency all over Ilios. A mix of the finest materials on Ilios. Yeah, yeah, we already read that one, and we read that one. Hmm. Oh, okay, yeah. Told you there was a switch. I knew that. I was calm all along. That was a test. Congratulations, you passed. Uh oh. This is an angry Toroth. Tell because it's got lightning around it. And now it has that attack. Whoa. <laughs> so when you biomorph too many of them, they all get a little bit angrier. Does that mean that I can... No, I can't. Wait, I should be able to. No, not yet. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Oh. Well, you can't keep them from screen to screen anyway. <laughs> I've already done this boss fight, so I kind of know... Come on, get up here so I can punch you. I figured out that strategy the last time I played it, which was earlier today, so it's still fairly fresh in memory. Wait a minute, what's this biomorph of? Oh, same thing. Okay. Chip obtained. The Executioner. Fire ranged Ferox bullets at enemies. So we have to go to a safe...
and we got a title drop. What do you guys think so far? I was already invested by this point. Oh, I need a voice for this guy. What you got there, Captain Z? Careful, Lamoth. That's one fierce fish. <laughs> it's all right. Hey there, little one. Welcome to Bright er, Blightmoor. I may be little, but I can fend for myself. Oh, I like your style, kid. Are you the one who lit one of the spheres? It's been dark since anyone can remember. I mean, along with the most of the world. Ask him about Cleo. We need to get back inside. He seems like a guy who knows way too many things. Kind of like Longface. I suppose I'm the one who turned the sphere back on. My memory of it's kind of hazy. Is there any way to get inside this big building? None that I know of. But maybe you can find a way in by looking through the old database in the Dunes of Time. Now, I've never been able to step inside, but maybe you could. Hmm. Hmm. Why would this old man guide us like this? A database sounds promising, though. We could glean precious information. If you promise to leave the door open, my men will be able to access precious information. This may help us restore the spheres. And Blightmore as well. <laughs> That's why, Longface, you two really are alike. Oh, and one last thing. You seem like a sensible fellow. When you have time to spare, I'd be grateful if you could lend a hand to the citizens. That's a tall order. I'll see what I can do about your city. But count on me for the database. Marvelous. Here, I'll give you a device to help you find your way there. You can find me at the bar. I'll be by the fireplace. So now we have a map. The map section has been added to the game menu. Press select to access the map section and see the quest log. You also have access to a mini-map while exploring the world. You can disable the mini-map in the game settings by pressing start. That's my start button. Once all the secrets have been found in a room, it turns golden. Use the map to find all the treasures in Ilios. Hang on a second. What is it, buddy? What's wrong? My familiar is being whiny. You okay? You did quite a dive from that sphere. Thanks for fishing me out. Don't mention it. So, how did you turn that thing on? Honestly, I have no idea. Could you take me back there with your boat? Sure thing, mate. Just say the word. Well, we're not going to do that just yet. Or actually, wait a minute. <laughs> Okay. So that's that ship that landed at the beginning in that memory, and we lit up one of the spheres. Don't know what it means, but I want to find out. Oh boy, I gotta come up with more voices. Oh hey, you're Lamas' new buddy. We just met. I bet you have your own crackpot theory why our civilization collapsed, eh? <laughs> Everybody does. Maybe there was a war. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm an archaeologist and I've been studying the weapons in the dunes of time my whole career. There's just no end to them. As countless as these weapons may be, I doubt they're the reason everything went to hell, though. War grinds you down, it slowly takes everything from you, and gives nothing back. But when the fall occurred, everything hooked to Ferox stopped working. There could be no war without Ferox-powered weapons, so what happened? That's a good question.
Hey, you're Lamas new friend, aren't you? Are you gonna join our little group? You're in a group with Lameth? Yeah, we're trying to power up the spheres. He sends us digging into the old ruins in hopes of understanding what happened. You know, the fall. What exactly is the fall? Machine stopped working? Is that all there is to it? It's not so simple. Some say we ran out of Ferox, but I'm a driller, if you didn't notice, so I find it hard to believe. The mountain has rivers of it. Go and see for yourself. It's common knowledge. You could swim in the damn thing, but that might kill you. Interesting theory. Press him for information. I might... It might help us. What is Ferox? So it wasn't that? Nah, Ferox is what monsters are born from. That's why drilling is such a dangerous job. And that's Lameth over here. Ah, uh, what the hell was this voice again? Did you get into the database? Not yet. I want to ask you about this area. Why is it half ruins? Everything on Ilios is half ruins. Barely any technology works anymore. That's why I asked for your help with the spheres. I'll take any aid I can get if it means helping my fellow citizens. Oh, I see. How can we activate the other spheres? I don't know. But I bet you could find out in the Athenium. Remember that database I told you about in the Dunes of Time? It sure seems obvious when he says it like that. Him and his impeccable mustache. <laughs> what sort of creature are you anyway? I've never seen anything like you. Outside of scary stories for children. I wish I knew. Oh, so he doesn't... Harlow doesn't know what he is. That's kind of sad. You must be from very far away. Why? I've never seen anyone who looks like you in my whole life. Except maybe in scary books for kids. <laughs> no offense. None taken. Offense taken? Order a drink and don't pay. That'll teach him some respect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the sense that uh, any and... What's the other one's name? Longface. I'm just going to call him Longface because I can't remember right now. They're... Or, Sort of like the... In a way, they're kind of like the angel and the devil on Harlow's shoulders. Let's explore a little bit. See what's up here. Locked door. Did I hear a cat? I did hear a cat. What's that up there in the top right? That's not... Sorry, I thought I was going crazy. There are cat-like creatures in this game. And we'll, you'll see them soon enough. So, let's make sure we didn't miss anything. Oh, who's this? Carnivore or herbivore? Excuse me? Sorry, but I've never seen anything like you in my life. Oh, Zeki. What does it matter to him what we eat? You could very well be a vegetarian. What a brute. Eyes facing forward. Scary robot claws. I'm thinking carnivore. Want a Taurus steak? Uh, sure. Forget about food. I crave action. Eh, looks like I'm all out. Come back in a day or two. I should have restocked. My voice isn't 100%, and I'm trying to do character voices. It's good practice. Now oh, this is where we were. All right. We're backtracking a little bit. So, if you look at the map, there's actually a way down right here, but I can't get to it. I wonder if there's going to be an elevator at some point. Mei Mei. Incoherent sobbing and wailing. 
She holds a flyer that reads, Lost Scargato. Um, what's wrong, ma'am? Can I help? My Scargatos! They're gone and I have no idea how to survive- Oh, sorry. They're gone and have no idea how to survive in the wild. But they don't know that. They think they're fierce hunters. But all they are is squishy, cute, and adorable. Don't do it, boss. This sounds like a chore. I came in from shopping and fell asleep with the door open. I've lost them forever. It pains me to say this, but Annie's right for once. We have to find Cleo, not some domesticated slugs. <laughs> I'll find your scargatos, ma'am. I know what it's like to lose someone you hold dear. Oh, or forty of them. Forty? Thirty-nine, to be exact. Find them and they'll be able to return home by themselves after that. I have to go home and cook their supper. <laughs> Not my best voice. Uh, find 40 cat slugs. Uh, there aren't 40 in the demo, unless I'm really bad at finding them. Do -do 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 -do. What's up here? Who are you? What are you looking at? The ruins of a great city. What else is there to look at? I don't know what this character's gender is supposed to be. I don't know. They're kind of beautiful in a sad way, aren't they? Like a sunset. They kind of upset me. I don't know what ruined them. Knowing what caused this won't help us in our, live our daily lives. I see what you mean, but it couldn't hurt to know. There's so much I forgot. You have some kind of amnesia? Remembering is all well and good, but you have to live in the present. Not just the past. <laughs> I'm starting to get why Lameth wanted me to help the people of Blightmore. Yes, Lameth understood that we need to look to the future. Maybe you can help me try to make this place a little more beautiful. One step at a time. We need to learn to focus on what we have. What we can do instead of what we lost. What we cannot do. Maybe try that sometime. Maybe I'll try that sometime. Oh, you're not giving me a quest or anything? Okay. That's fine. That's as far as I can go here. So, throughout this game, it's, it's beyond just a platformer. You actually rebuild... Ooh, there's a cat. And it's purring. Sow, a playful and little... A loyal little Scargato. He's fond of birds, especially the blue ones. I haven't seen a single bird around here. Who are you? Marl Herder. You're the stranger everybody's talking about. Please don't rub it in. My bad, kiddo. Didn't mean to offend. They say you're bound for the Athenium. If you stumble on any um, ancient uh, and amazing things, you can bring them back to me. That's right up my alley. Do you collect artifacts? We call them mementos around here, and I don't collect them as much as I restore them. If you find old mementos in need of love, I could fix them up for you. That sure sounds like a sweet deal. So what's the catch? I do need to set up shop in order to practice my trade. The architect lost my shop's blueprints, and now I need to retrieve it. Think you could give me a hand in getting it back? I'll mark your map where I believe he dropped the thing. Consider it done. Alright. So this is the shop. It was already... Ah, uh, man. Slar Kurtar. Brake shoes, turnbuckles, skyhooks, left-handed O-rings... I've got everything for your adventuring needs. Let me kit you out. Get ready to be amazed. Uh, which, oh, uh, what you got? Anything I can use? Ferrex Field. Create an aura that provides protection against attacks. Oh. Microscopic droplets of Ferrex create a protective barrier around the user capable of absorbing any impact and dispersing afterwards. That sounds promising. What's this? 
Used by nurses, the Phase 1 version of this device hastened the body's natural answer to small cuts and bruises. The Phase 3 was never tested on living subjects. Huh. So, reduces vital scan activation time. So one provides a shield, and one provides... And I can only afford one. Hmm. Should I go for the shield, or the healing accelerator? Let's go try the shield. So, I have to activate it somehow. So, I need to find uh, the safe. Well, there is. So, I want to make sure I've got ex I've explored everything. No, oh, no. I forgot about down here. Oh, perfect. Uh, let's put that here. Hmm, okay. So I have five charges of it before I need to find another safe. Okay. <laughs> Boyd. I need to give Boyd a voice. Oh, man, I'm running out of ideas. Hey, cutie. You didn't happen to notice uh, Kalox flying by with a wrench? Um, no. Oh, I'm so stupid. As I was throwing my wrench at the flying pest, I thought probably shouldn't do that, Boyd. That's how you lose things. So I threw the wrench and lost the thing. I'm Boyd, by the way, but you probably figured that out already, huh? Can't you get another wrench? It's not really a wrench, but a ferrosculating fluxograph. Doesn't quite roll off the tongue. They don't make them anymore. That one's from before the fall, dang it. I see. And what does it look like? A wrench. <laughs> what did I expect? And what do you need a furroscalating flexio wrench? What do you need the wrench for? To measure ferrox pressure in closed pipes. I discovered a mechanism from before the fall. If my theory is correct, it could let us travel over vast distances in an instant. Oh, does that mean we could punch everything everywhere all at once? Sign me up! I'll keep an eye out for a wrench that isn't a wrench. Oh, you're the best. <laughs> I kind of like that voice. Uh, <laughs> the only problem is when I go back to these guys, I'm not going to remember. Half the time I'm going to like struggle to remember the voice I gave them, because I didn't plan any of this. Okay, so... The Mezzo Skyway. Ow. I already took damage. That's a great first step. So these guys, you have to hit them quickly, otherwise they just disperse a f field of uh, electricity and it hurts you. This is where we start to get into the more platformer side of things. Another one of these. Fluxograph. This ferrosculating fluxograph is used to measure ferrox pressure in closed pipes. So this is what we need to go get to Boyd.
Oh, wait, there's more. Oh, but we can't go there yet. Okay. Boyd. Hey, is this your ferrovulating framograph? I'm um, fulminating framostat florulating vemograph? What'd you call it again? See why I call it a wrench? And yes, is what I was looking for. Thanks, cutie. So, what's this whole new way to travel? Oh, well, it's only a theory so far, but I think they use these Ferox tubes to travel. The ones marked safe. How? Wouldn't they drown? Well, I'm still analyzing the system. When you put something in, it's reduced to a plastomorphic wave. That's what it sends. On the other end, it reconstitutes the wave back to a solid form. In theory, at least. Wouldn't that kill you? I'm still trying over short distances with different objects, but only the highly flexible ones made it through unscathed. Sounds like these safes aren't so safe. It may be best to let them perfect the process before using it ourselves. It's still experimental. If I can regulate the pressure in the pipes, I could test sending something a great distance, almost instantaneously. That means I need a tracking center. I just need Lameth's permission and a third party to vouch for it. Good thing Lameth asked me to help wherever I can. I'll vouch for the project. Wow, cutie, you really are the best. Well, here's the blueprint for the construction. Take it to the city registry and they'll take care of it. Key item obtained, tracking center blueprint. An intricate blueprint featuring numerous pipes and various machine parts. Approved by the architect. All right, so we have a mission. Quotu. Oh man, I need another voice. Yeah. Welcome to the city registry. Would you like to build something, buddy? Maybe I do. What does it cost to build a house? In this economy, <laughs> not much really. Blightmore welcomes everybody and pays for most of it. Oh, that sounds nice. Don't get your hopes up too high, buddy. The city requires blueprints to be approved by the architect to make sure everything's up to standards. But the architect likes to take walks. Long walks. All around Ilios. I haven't seen his bespeckled face in over a month. That may dampen your homeowner dreams, Harlow. Anyway, feel free to browse the city registry. If you have a blueprint already approved by the architect, I could build it. Alright. So... We're building a tracking center. We don't need any resources. Just need the blueprint. That's it. It's done. And this is our tracking center. We can talk to Boyd again. Way to go, cutie. Now we can proceed to the next phase of my experiment. Time to upgrade a safe. Good thing I built the center in front of a safe. Almost like I thought about this all along. <laughs> With a safe... Uh, oh, sorry. With a safe kit, you'll be able to upgrade one. Once that's done, it will become a safe T. The T stands for transportation. Then we'll be able to send things from one safety to another. I'll monitor it from here. Yes, we can finally stop walking and start zipping around Ilios. <laughs> As if you were the one walking. Anyway, this new method of traveling seems pretty fast. Fast travel, if you will. Here's a bunch of safe kits. My tracking center can monitor 15 for now. Upgrade the building to track more. Simple as that. So now we have safe kits. So any safe that we encounter, we can 
convert it to a safe T. And then we can fast travel to any one. Okay, so we're going to continue east. Can I go any further yet? I think I can, because if you look at the mini-map in the top right-hand corner, I think I should be able to go further now. Oh, shit! <laughs> Whoops. What? What? Oh, shoot. <laughs> My bad. I didn't actually upgrade the, the safe. I got ahead of myself. As ha happens sometimes. So all you gotta do is just press Y or whatever button on your controller to upgrade, and that's it. Hey cutie, good job on upgrading the safe. You can now use it to get into the Mezzo Skyway with a blast or a blink. Well, just test it out. If you find any other blueprints for the tracking center, bring them to the city registry. Upgrading it will let me track more safe. Win-win. Here's a weird-looking weapon thing. Hope you can use this, because I sure can't. <laughs> Alright. Mecha Crush. Hit your enemies with a powerful and slow attack that will force them to retreat. Ooh, that sounds useful. Um, uh, but I don't think I'm gonna put it on yet. Anyway, let's fast travel. To... Here. Alright. Well, who are you? Your coat is a little singed. Are you okay? Oh yes, I'm alright. <laughs> I was just so excited. I didn't I didn't realize a Florox was in the vicinity. My coat paid the price of my enthusiasm. I spotted this weird relic from before the fall. It looked like a letter tapper, but it was intact. A letter tapper? Consider my interest peaked. Maybe I can get it for you. Where is it? You're not afraid of a Florox? Well, how can I turn down such a kind offer? I'll mark down where I spot it. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. So, we have another goal. Wait a minute. down here. Okay. So, now, in this part of the level, we're going to be switching a lot back and forth between the different creatures. And these guys hurl basically boomerang-type projectiles. Can I not reach with this guy? No, I can. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I remember. Where these guys come in handy is being able to remotely hit switches. Oh, you bitch. Oh. Oh, 
I should have thrown up my shield. I forgot that I have it. Wait. You know, yeah, let's go up this way. Let's see what's up here first. Ah. These are scar beetles. And they allow you to float over certain hazard types. Hmm. They don't jump as high, I don't think. The reason I do that is because eventually, once you get like six of six, you'll actually be able to just transform into one of these at will without uh, without actually needing one of their bodies. Of course, that unlocks the more difficult versions of these guys, but it's it's worth it. Let's continue going this way. Nothing else over here. Okay. Where else am I supposed to? Oh, right. Wait, I hear a cat. Oh, found another one. Pounio. Pounio? Grumpy and romantic, this scargato doesn't like to be home alone. Meimei's lap is his place of choice. So we found two of the 39. Son of a bitch. I swear I was doing better at this game earlier. Oh, wait, I already did this part. Never mind. Let's go to the next screen, then. Alright. Conve? Convi? The rounds beyond this door are dangerous. Only proven members of the hunting guild may pass. I'm fairly strong. May I pass? <laughs> oh, you were not joking. 
Such a puny thing like you can't pass until they've proven themselves to the hunting guild. <laughs> Longface, do you think hunt hunting him is a good enough proof of power? Calm down, Eni. There's plenty of paths we have yet to explore. We'll come back here in due time. Sorry. I didn't mean to laugh so hard. But my answer is still no. I won't let you pass until I'm sure you're strong enough to survive what lies ahead. I'm not sending another unprepared youth over there. Never again. Oh, sounds like there's a story there. You gotta give me some room to get over there, bud. You know what? Whoa! Oh, shoot! <laughs> no! Oh, I'm in a loop? You gotta be kidding me. That was annoying. Oh, monster obtained. Female to the Fubarang. They can emit a very hot and dark smoke. The smoke is used to keep their eggs warm and suffocate any predator approaching their nest. It can also be used to hover above obstacles. I like that there's lore for these creatures. When you, bio when you biomorph enough monsters, you can use their skills by equipping them. So I have to equip them as safe. I can't do that just yet. Ah, I thought I timed that well. And I did not. <laughs> hey, friend! Can I hear some sweet tunes? Is this the right place for a show? This dude doesn't seem to care at all. I like him. Any place is the right place for a show. But if you're not feeling it, then here's the record. The Skyway inspired this piece. Listen to it with your heart. And your ears. But that's the easy part. Well, we have nothing to play this. But maybe Blightmore's bar has a jukebox. Uh, thanks for this, but you really should find a safer place to compose. <laughs> <laughs> Life is a skyway I wanna ride it all night long yeah. If you're going my way Sorry It is after 9 o'clock So I'm gonna continue until I find Another safe spot What are you? Restore a shop blueprints. A blueprint for a well-organized shop with numerous small tools. Approved by the architect. I gained this one, right? Oh no, I can't. I didn't. Oops. Wait a second. 
Can I see that? Oh, nice. Memento obtained Spear Sliver. When taking damage from nearby enemies, it inflicts some damage back onto them. Nice. I can't get up here, can I? Block old high tech part that can be plugged in ships to enhance them. Hmm. How am I supposed to? Oh. updated Oop. No, no. there's the athenium Yo. Uh, okay. I'm gonna fight this guy. Whoa. Okay. So there's just a pattern to his attacks.
Oh, okay. Congratulations, you completed 61% of the demo. Time to complete one hour, 12 minutes, and 22 seconds. But there is so much that we did not find. Am I gonna... Are you gonna let me continue at this point? I wonder. Let's see. Let me go back. Okay. Yeah. Am I able to... Oh. Alright, well, I still want to explore the rest, but that's going to have to wait until maybe Sunday I'll check, the, check out the rest of it. <laughs> uh. All right. Well, I mean, I'm sold. I'm probably going to wishlist this game. Actually, no, I am going to wishlist this game because I really want to play it. It's a lot of fun, and I'm not... Uh, Metroidvania is not usually my genre of choice, but that's only because I haven't really had a lot of exposure to them. I, <laughs> I'm... You know, people are going to shake their heads when they hear this, but I've never played a Metroid game, and I've never played a Castlevania game. So, make of that what you will. But, yeah, this was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed this demo. It was solid. This is a solid game. The gameplay, for being a demo, it's really tight. There's no issues, no glitches that I found. Controls are really responsive. I like the music. The, but, I, I'm honestly, I'm starting to wonder if I'm just like an easy audience. But that's it for me for tonight. I hope you've enjoyed this, um, and I'll be back on Sunday.